Good morning. Uh, and it's not close to morning anymore at all. But it's close to when I woke up, so it's close to morning. Since today is World Ballet Day, I figured instead of just doing a normal vlog, why don't I be um, every stereotype that I don't like and show you what a ballerina eats in a day? Because, you know, like, for some reason people find it interesting. And um, I want you to keep in mind that my video from last week was me making a lot of unhealthy snacks. So obviously everything I eat today isn't gonna, isn't like just, you know, it's not, what I'm trying to say is like I don't eat very little like on a regular basis, like I'm not, like ballerinas don't just eat like healthy all the time and like small snacks and small meals, like this is just what I like to eat. Every, every dancer is different. Um, anyways, I haven't eaten yet today and it's real late and it's about to be lunchtime, but since it's about to be lunchtime and I'm not that hungry, I'm just gonna have a little breakfast, so let me go get it. So, for breakfast today, I'm gonna have an apple and I brought two because they're little and I'm not sure if I'm gonna want more than one. Usually I will have a cliff bar for breakfast, but I haven't been to Target in a while and they don't have, like, it's so expensive to buy Cliff Bars at Whole Foods, so I don't. And they don't have them at Trader Joe's, and I forgot to look when I went to Publix, even though I made a mental note, but sometimes those get erased. That was so stupid. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go to Target later, and I wanted to go before I filmed this so that I could show you that I eat a Cliff Bar every morning for breakfast, but... You know, I don't have one today, and this is what I'm having for breakfast, so. I miss fall so much this year. Ugh. Macintosh apples don't grow in Florida, they grow in New England, and I miss going apple picking. <laughs> like, being able to wear sweaters outside and not, like, having a heat stroke and... Okay, I'll check back in later. I was sitting on my bed eating my apple and I really wanted some goldfish, so now I'm gonna eat some goldfish as well. So, yeah. So, it's now um, almost time for me to leave for ballet. I'm gonna be leaving in a few minutes, but I'm gonna have a little snack first because I had breakfast at lunchtime, so I need a something to push me until dinner. Now I'm gonna have chips and salsa. Um, my favorite salsa is the Newman's Own Mango Salsa. It's so good. I also really like my mom's homemade salsa, but obviously I don't have that right now. I don't have that here. And then for chips, I literally have like, hold on. Then. I have a problem. When I, <laughs> um, when I eat chips and salsa, I get to the point where all the chips are like small enough you can still use them, but too like not a full chip size. And then I stop using that bag of chips, but I keep it because I feel guilty because I could still use the chips, I just don't. So I have three bags at that state. One back almost there and then a new bag in the kitchen. But I'll show you what kind of chips they are. They are late July and the chia and quinoa ones, which are made out of organic whole ground corn, organic sunflower oil, organic sapphire safflower oil, organic chia seeds, organic quinoa, and sweet pepper. I don't know. They taste great. They don't taste healthy. They don't taste like they're made out of substitutes. This they taste like normal tortilla chips. I'm gonna have my snack and head to ballet, and I will see you guys later. Maybe we'll do something a little more interesting than talk about food. So we have returned from dance, and 
I ate the second apple as my snack after dance, and I'm not quite ready to cook yet. So I'm enjoying some pickles while we watch the World Ballet Day live streams. If you don't know what World Ballet Day is, it's like any of the like Boyfriend Day stuff, but all of the companies around the world do like hour-long live streams. Right now we're watching Royal Ballet, which is five hours. So it's kind of impossible to watch them all because Australia literally started at midnight our time, like this morning, so. It's probably gonna take a few days to get through these, but. So today I thought I'd show you one of my favorite recipes. You're just gonna start with three medium but thin potatoes, and I just peeled them. You don't have to. We're gonna, this is a really great recipe if you have leftover baked potatoes that you don't know what to do with. So you just, I'm peeling them today because it's easier than trying to get the skin off when they're hot. And then you're gonna throw them in the microwave and you wanna do this with a cup of water so the water will boil and kind of steam them and halfway through you're probably gonna have to flip them over. Some might take longer because of size. Next, I'm gonna take some frozen broccoli. You can use fresh, I just have frozen. I'm letting it defrost a little bit. And then I'm going to take a quarter of an onion and put the rest away. Here, I'm flipping the potatoes like I said I was going to. Um, and then we're gonna go on and dice the onion into pretty small sizes because if you make them too big, then it, they're not going to stick together. We're making the um, patty-like things. Okay, putting all the onions in a bowl and we're just gonna gently mash the potatoes. They don't have to be perfect at the moment. Just get them like separated and into the bowl. That last potato took a little bit longer because it's bigger so I just took it out now and that's going in as well. I'm gonna heat up the broccoli that I took out earlier so that it's not completely frozen but it doesn't have to be warm because we're gonna have to cook it anyways. You only want the little green parts because, like I said, if the pieces are too big, then the patties won't stay together too well. And So I'm mixing them all together, making sure the potato is mashed pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want it to be better, you could probably use something better than a fork. And I'm using a little bit of vegetable oil as a binding. I've used water before just because I'm not a big fan of oil, but oil works better and then I'm using salt, pepper, a lot of oregano, some onion powder, and turmeric. Then you're just gonna arrange them on a baking sheet or stone into small patty like shapes and bake them at 415 degrees for 15 minutes on each side give or take how much crispy you want. Here's what they look like when they're done. I like them a little soft because you know it I'm not I'd rather have food quicker than wait longer for a crispy or potato. So it's the next day now and I didn't end the video last night because I wasn't in the best mood and we were watching World Ballet Day and then we went on to watch Friends and then it was just really late. So um, here I am ending the video now. I'm going to have some toast for my breakfast lunch because I need to get my life together and I just am not waking up at normal times right now so that's not new though anybody who knows me will be like yeah that sounds about right I'm gonna have my toast and I was thinking maybe like one day I can do a like day in the life of a ballet dancer person in ballet school I like watching them, so I should make them, right? Because then, like, if I like watching them, then someone else must like watching them, too. So then, like, if I make one, someone else will want to watch it. Anyways, um, if you like this video and you want to see more, like, ballet things or just, like, my vlogs, because I do, like, vlogs every Sunday and Wednesday, um, then subscribe down below. And if you liked it and you think other people should watch it, then give it a thumbs up. And if you like any of the foods I made or want to try eating stuff like me, comment down below and let me know because I get no comments and I'm thirsty for attention. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!